Last week, uh, my buddy texts me, middle of the week. He's like, hey, man, you free this weekend? I looked at my phone, tear rolled down my cheek, and I thought to myself, I'm an American. I'm free every weekend, baby. Woo! I love freedom, folks. I love the USA, and I love watching the market, the free market, do its job. I love watching the market make corrections when people try to stick their dirty government freaking little government communist claws into it and ruin things. And I love when the market pushes back, y'all. And one of those places where we see those commies, those wokies, those skinny jean wearing, latte sipping crybabies always whining, making a big fuss is Seattle, Washington, right? Property owners in Seattle, Washington, they had enough of it, and I love it. Recent data just popped out, just got published. 10,000 rental units in Seattle, poof, gone. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here. To talk to you all about real estate, right? You got questions, I got answers. I like to talk about the hot topics. I like to do what we do, man. Sometimes I make a couple little cool little spreadsheets to keep myself uh, on target, right? Sometimes I go into these little rants and I forget what I was supposed to talk about, right? So this little PowerPoint action I got for you should be keeping me on pace, right? Keeping me on point because today... Today we're talking about freedom, y'all. We're talking about great American freedom and what these beautiful landlords in Seattle did and all them wokies crying about it, right? This article I just read this popped up in my Facebook feed, y'all. Seattle loses nearly 3,000 rental properties in less than a year. <laughs> The best part is it's actually way worse, right? Uh, it's actually 10,000, 10,000 rental units, right? So, you know, duplexes, triplexes, things of that nature, right? Uh, so the story goes, uh, Seattle has lost nearly 3,000 rental properties between May of last year and January of 2022. Those properties constitute roughly 10,000 units in total since May. Only 27 units were added. So there was 10,000 uh, units that used to be rentals, no longer rentals. And then there's 27 units that uh, did not exist, but they went up. But uh, negative 10,000, okay? Uh, for the article, they interviewed this guy, Jim Henderson. Uh, he was part of a rental housing association. And uh, he attributes the loss uh, of the rental units to a growing number of rental protection laws, making it harder and more expensive to own rental property in Seattle. And he said that uh, bah, 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 Jim Henderson, instead of improving conditions for renters, all the laws are limiting options and raising rental prices, right? And then that's the thing, right? So Seattle. All the advocates about the affordable rental housing that have not a clue, right? You guys know them. These left-leaning ma left maniacs out there that have never owned a rental property in their entire life have no idea how the rental property business operates, have no clue. They come up with all these random laws and regulations. Rent control this. Inspect that. Fee for this, mandate for that, can't do this, can't do that, can't evict Susie because she lost her job, can't evict Timmy because he's crying about whatever the hell Timmy's crying about, <gasps> blah, 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 right? You guys know it. Seattle is one of the worst places to be a rental property owner in the United States of America, right? It's right up there with California, right? What's California got going on? Eviction moratorium for th three years now? Three years? Uh, California freaking f fines you for trying to sell houses you own. They got a flipping tax. They got a leaving your house empty tax. I mean, it's terrible, right? So what I love, what I love about this 
is that 10,000 units, poof, they disappeared. And then all these advocates are like, oh, wait, what? What? You mean to tell me we keep creating laws and this or that to screw the property owner over and over and over? So you just took your cards off the table? So what we tried to do is protect the people that need protection and and now you're saying there's no more housing for them and the existing housing, the price just went way up. Are you saying everything we did completely backfired and had the exact opposite effect? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, who would have thought woke politics doesn't work in the real world, folks? This is the real world, the real world, the free world, okay? Where capitalism is king and the market makes corrections, right? When these insane local politicians just start going further and further and further and further off the cliff, eventually, property owners, American citizens, they are going to put their foot down and say enough is enough. And that is exactly what Seattle landlords are doing. And I would love to see that happen in some of the various other hot spots of the country where it's just insane. The entire state of California, yeah. Uh, how about Portland, right? Portland is out of friggin' control. And then, of course, Seattle landlords are doing what they do. The free market, folks, it's always going to win out. Housing advocates got egg on their face. How do they feel now? Prices are going to be way higher. Affordable housing, all-time shortage now. And they have no one to blame but themselves. And why you guys are all sitting here talking to me, listen to me, just so y'all know. Those holdover landlords in Seattle or those poor sons of bitches out there in California and Portland. If you guys finally make the decision to tap out and say enough is enough. I want my freedom back. I am sick of having my property rights converted into currency and sold in the form of votes, right, to f battle and give away all the freebies, right, taking my rights, converting them to currency, selling them, right, selling my rights to the voting population, right, just so you can get into office and continue your agenda. If you're sick of that, if you're like these 10,000 rental unit owners and you want to move your money, to a place where you still have rights, where capitalism is still king, where it is still a free country, go ahead and book a call below, folks, because that is exactly what my company does. We help landlords like you who are stuck in the commie trap get your money to freedom. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.